Hi, my name is Melanie Matthews and I'm here at Golden Artist Colors in upstate New York. And today we're going to do a project with the A to Z kit. I'm going to start by putting on um, an underpainting. I have a birch panel here. So I've got a small amount of paint. These are two heavy body colors. Now I'm going to um, get my materials ready. So I'm going to start by laying out some color. And the gels I have, and this is really important, is the light molding paste. That's what gives us this kind of fluffy, I'm going to use quite a bit of that. And I'm going to start by just putting a little heavy gel down. And I'm going to start by just putting a little gel down. Yeah, that's dry to the touch almost. So I'm just going to kind of keep the surface from grabbing the paint too fast. I'm putting a little bit of heavy gel keeps everything moving and kind of slick on the surface. Put some indigo in here. A little bit of ultramarine blue. I want it to be a bit dark. Roll that in. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm just gonna smear that on. And remember, I like this to be nice and thick and kind of sensual feeling because I'm gonna be scratching back. So the, the thicker it is, the slower it dries, and the more I can manipulate it later on. And I'm gonna mix up some of this beautiful light green. So what I got, I've got here is the green gold, a little bit of that Hansa yellow light. And I'm gonna put a touch of ultramarine blue in there to just bring that green to life. I wanna make sure I mix up enough that when I come to smear it on, that I've got enough to go around. And so part of what makes this beautiful is the flow of it. And right away, even just smearing it about kind of gives it movement. I'm gonna to start to scratch. What do I mean by that? Well, look, as I pull through the wet paint, I'm gonna to start to carve into this and sort of really make some very loose kind of shapes. So this is where I'm gonna find the bit of detail that's in here. I'm gonna put it in like this. This is dark, but I'm gonna add more of this green I like this yellowy green and kind of move inside. So see this blend when you kind of work wet into wet into these darker areas? I can kind of create the illusion of movement. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. What I'm going to do to make the sky, again, really easy. I'm going to use some light molding paste. I'm going to change the spatula because I want to stay clean. I'll take a little teal. So it's basically the light molding paste, the teal, and some white. And look at this light molding paste. It's so fluffy and light and just so responsive. And it stays wet long enough that I can continue to manipulate this. I'm going to go in and kind of brush some sky over here. And I don't mind at all. Again, if I see some of that pink coming through, maybe I'll keep a little bit of pinky areas in that horizon line. Put some more darks in. I feel like when I do this, I'm kind of carving into this landscape and kind of cutting it back. So I'm sort of pulling some paint back to get sharper edges. Go back, scratch out a little bit more detail. And then what I'd like to do here is sort of pull this so it's kind of thinner. Because I love the gradation that all the green should not be the same color. So I'm literally pulling back off that light molding paste to kind of have an uneven, I can add some color to that and just pull. I don't know if you realized how often I'm cleaning the tool off, so I'm always working with a paper towel in my hands. And there we go. Here's my landscape. Just let me show you what it looks like when I take the tape off. There we go. So we just completed um, a fun abstract landscape. Everything I use and everything you need to complete this project you can find in the A to Z kit. Thanks for watching.